Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back on my team, of course. And today, we're going to rip some packs for the new Ruby Kyrie Irving. Pretty cool card. Hopefully we pull him, man. Looks dope. I saw his shooting stats. He's going to get 97 off uh, dribble mid-range. That's insane. That's like as good as Jerry West's. So, yeah, we're going to pull some packs, trying to get him. He is in the packs, the only uh, moments player we got for Christmas Day, which does kind of kind of does stink, but uh, I, I'm, I'm even kind of shocked, I will say, that he got a card. Like, honestly, I didn't think he was going to get one. He only had, I think, a 25-point game yesterday, but obviously it was against the Warriors, and, um, yeah, it was a pretty big game, and it was on Christmas Day national stage, and he did hit that pretty crazy shot to win the game, but... Yeah, let's uh, see. I think this is the Kyrie right here, if I'm not mistaken, in Moments 10. I'm trying to get these collections done, man. Trying to get that collector level up even more to pretty much as high as I can. So as soon as that pink die Will Chamberlain is ready, I can get him too. But as you guys can see, that'll be a while down the road. Definitely will be at least a few weeks. But um, Kyrie Irving right here, you guys can see, going for about, what, 90k right now? Any, any that are uh, under that, 100k? So he's pretty expensive. Definitely going for a lot of cheddar. We're going to compare him to the base, Kyrie Irving. You guys can see his offense is all the way up 10 plus overalls to a 94. And his defense is even up to an 84 overall, which is pretty nice. 95 standing layup, 94 driving layup. That is pretty sweet. He's got a little bit of post control, but doesn't really have the greatest fadeaway. It only has 64. Uh, he kind of did hit that fadeaway yesterday, though. So maybe we'll see that go up a little bit as each card goes up. But not the craziest. Shot close. As I said, the shooting stats of this card are nasty. 96 on the uh, mid-range, 97 on the mid-range. That's crazy. And then 88, 87 on the three ball. That is sweet. And honestly, that could even be a little bit higher. I'm surprised that's not in, like, the lower 90s. But I guess there is still room for improvement with this card. Then a nice free throw at 89. Nice ball control at 98. That's one of the top ball controls in the game, which it should be, man. He's going to have those Kyrie sauce-ups, as we should call them, and uh, he'll be dribbling the ball really nice. He's got those excellent crossovers. Pass perception is nice. I like that for stealing passes. 89 steal. Wow. That is uh, one of the higher steal ratings for the moments cards, I think. And then 87 speed, and um, yeah, a little bit better on defense, and 98 offense consistency, which is huge. Definitely is. Doesn't come with too many badges, though. Only two. All right, we're going to do a quick 20-packer. Let's see if we can get Kyrie, or hey, even that moments, LeBron James, the Amethyst one. I would love that. I do already have uh, the other Amethyst ones, but we don't have the LeBron James yet. Do not, and I still would love that card, but I don't want to buy him up the market. I don't even have that much MT right now. We only got like 70K. I'm still collecting cards. I haven't decided if I want to sell things back. I don't think I'm going to. I might sell back a couple of historic players, but not going to sell back a ton of those. Just some of the ones that I paid a little too much cheddar. Come on, baby. Four out of ten. It would be nice to get a couple of rubies in this box. That's all I'm looking for, really, to be honest. Just a couple of the moments ones. There are some that I do not have. I would love to pull another one of those Ruby Curry moments, even though his value has gone down. This is a good time for me to get him because I, I don't have him once again. Days of my team is technically over. I am going to still do some theme lineups and things like that. There just obviously won't be one every single day like there was for some of the month. I, I, obviously, there wasn't for the entire month. We didn't even get to probably 20 days of my team. We probably did 15, but still, there will be a, a lot of time theme lineups. Time lineups, really? Theme lineups and things like that. And, of course, obviously, our normal videos and pack and things like that. But, yeah, definitely will be more gameplays with our Beastly teams and uh, trying with different players and stuff like that. I like it. I like using different teams, but we uh, definitely, some of them teams can be painful at times, man. Just like these packs right now, looking kind of painful. Nine packs through. All we've got is some, uh, some freaking emeralds. Oh, thank you. We do get ourselves, right as we say that, right on cue, we get ourselves a Sapphire card, and it is going to be LeBron James. But I was watching the games yesterday. Definitely was tuned into a good portion of them. I went home and, oh! Yo, I think we just pulled go. Oh, we did! Yeah, let's go! We just pulled Kobe. Let's freaking go, man. There it is. There's Kyrie Irving. And then, boom, Kobe Bryant. Whoa, that animation was different that time. I've never seen it like that. But, hey, look at that. Just like that, I was saying, you know, the, the packs weren't too great. And then we get a Sapphire. And then, boom, Emerald and Amethyst back to back. Nice. But I was watching the games yesterday. Celtics played pretty solid. Jay Crowder was balling out. And he kind of got them back into the game. And then all of a sudden, a boom, they ended up winning. It was a close one. The uh, Knicks were fighting hard, man. Knicks are actually a pretty solid squad. Kristaps Porzingis is a monster. And Melo surprisingly choked last night. I'm not going to lie. Like, he got clamped up by Avery Bradley, which I was not expecting, man. 
I, I, I literally said to uh, one of my cousins, I was like, yo, Mel is about to hit this game. He's about to hit the game winner. He's about to tie the game up. Uh, like, I, I, I wasn't even... I, all I remembered was uh, a couple years before that when I think... I don't know if they were playing the uh, Bulls or something, but Melo just was three ball, three ball, three ball, and he had a super clutch performance that brought him to, like, overtime. I remember that game. I don't know who they were playing. I think it was the Bulls, but I just remember that, and I was having flashbacks. I was like, oh, no. He's about to go ham, and he didn't. He actually got clamped and lost the ball. I was like, whoa, I'll take it. So the Celtics got a nice little win. Are uh, playing pretty well recently. And they won six out of their last seven. That's not too bad. Tyra will score right there. I'll take that. But can we clutch it with a Ruby in the last couple of packs, man? Come on. I like the Kyrie, uh, the Kobe. But can we get the Kyrie, though? Can we get the Kyrie, though? But the games were pretty good. And obviously, we got a finals rematch, which was won once again by the Cavaliers. Uh, crazy stuff. It looked like the Warriors had the game locked. Had a nice little lead. And then, whoo, that bitch is gone. It just disappeared like nothing, man. Like a 3-1-5. Oh, let me chill. Let me find some chill, man. But yeah, um, definitely was a, uh, a pretty good game. Definitely was a couple other good games on. I heard the night games were good as well, but I didn't get to see those. I was sleeping, man. I had to get some sleep. But yeah, nothing for the rest of the box. We do get the Kobe, which is nice. We'll send him to our auction. Auction that bad boy off. I think he's going for like 50k right now, which not surprised that his value has dropped. That's how it goes with these Amethysts. The first couple days, they're going for a ton. And then at the end of the promo, which is, I think he's only in promo packs for three more days or something. But I don't even have enough to do another box of these. I am out of VC. Oh, no. But, um, yeah, that wasn't too bad, man. I think we'll end it there. We'll open up a couple packs with an MT. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do three packs with MT just to see if we can get lucky. But, yeah, um, honestly, though, pretty nice day of Christmas games. Hopefully, we get some more good games and moments cards coming up soon. But, uh, yeah. For now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Of course, man, and you guys have been loving the content. Man, he don't go for nothing. Quick sell that bitch. But hopefully we get some good stuff coming up here in the month of January. The month of December for my team was pretty solid, as it usually is. It usually it heats up around this time. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get some good stuff coming soon, man. We saw the first diamond impacts this month. We saw the Amethyst moment cards finally. Actually, do we get that at the end of last month? I think it was this month. But anyways, last pack of the video, and uh, we ain't get shit, of course. But... Yeah, pretty cool stuff. We did actually get a couple. Not not too bad. Willie Reed, the dude that was uh, leaking stuff at being a year. I remember him for just just that. He's known for that. But I hope you guys did enjoy. We just wasted ourselves like 10 KMT. Why did we do that? But yeah, that is uh, another pack opening. We did get a name with this, so I can't complain. Pretty cool stuff. But um, yeah, no Ruby Kyrie for us. He's still out there, though, in impacts. And if you got the pack luck, go pull. Try and get him. And uh, yeah, get yourself that Kyrie swerving. But, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff, man. Hopefully we can get cool more moments cards coming up. Peace.